<laughs> well, we're wearing it down. <laughs> we're back back here at the ranch. What are we, 10 days since we did this, I reckon? Which isn't totally perfect, but it's gonna be all right because the cameraman's here and we're into it. So hopefully we've got some sealed off queen cells that um, they'll hatch out shortly. And we're gonna go home and we're gonna find a queen in one of the little boxes in our backyard that are a bit angry. I've got two there that I wanna change up. Yeah, so we're in the hardware shop and I thought, well, rather than use my blunt ass pocket knife, I'll get some new blades. So I've got some cool little step off blades. But of course, bloke's gotta find a blade to get them out of the bloody box, hasn't he? <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if you could slide up the little cutter upper of thing. And they always make this crap so you can't get it out, don't they? I mean, what's that about? I guess it's so they don't get robbed. Oh. Maybe we've got a blade in the car, we'll have a look. <laughs> that might make the job a bit easier. Actually, that might actually work, done it anyway. Saved us 10 bucks, we could have just used that. <laughs> Hang on, I might just sharpen it on the window. I'm not sure if we're how effective that's gonna be. I think my dad sharpened this with an angle grinder with the look of it. Yeah, bloody hell, Harry. Cast right a sheep with that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Cut through it like butter. Now, let's see. Look at this, this is kind of cute. We haven't got a whole heap to pick from. What do you reckon for 10 bucks? You reckon they're going to do more than one extraction? I figure they're all going to get covered in crap anyway, and hell. The way I store shit, <laughs> I might as well just get some cheap crap. We got it. What do we got? Workforce. That's us. Look out. <laughs> Here we go. Anyway, we're going to put our suits on, poke our heads in these little little newt boxes that hopefully raise some queen cells for us, and then we'll show you how it's done. I think we might need to buy a new smoker. This cheap ass one that I bought. It's having a bit of a hard life. She's done a bit of miles. Just. Bend me little hooks over the back of it a bend. She's trying to get away. Right, now, now all we gotta do is see if we can find a match. And we'll find some smoke and give the girls a little bit of a surprise. Ooh. Oh, golly, gosh. Hell, it's a long way down. <laughs> anyway, ooh, that's why you should paint the lid white. That's a bit warm. <laughs> that's amazing. Look at that. How different that is from heat white paint and no paint. That's incredible. Imagine that on a 40 degree day. It's only about 23 here at the minute. Another thing you should read. <laughs> don't forget to paint the top of your boxes. This one was just an emergency because we were here stuffing around. <laughs> Look at that. The lads got all excited with the smoker today. I think I've been sacked off smoker smoker duty. <laughs> Mind you, we only need a little puff, so don't get too excited. Pop a bit of smoke under the lid here. Distract them for a minute. They're not overpopulated, but that's all right. We'll see what we can find, shall we? See if we can find a, oh, there's a drone having a run. <laughs> At least they can't bite you. Hey, we're just going to take that frame out of the way so as we don't, because that's not going to have nothing that's under the edge. The brood was on in and about here somewhere. So I'll just sit them out of the way. You know, not to kill anybody because there's not a whole lot of girls in this pot. You're not over impressed about this. They said, bloody hell, we're just starting to get shit worked out. Then polar bears are back again. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, I thought what we'll do. Look, we got one here. We got one there. We've still got, hang on, where's the sun? <laughs> oh, I don't know whether she's still getting fed or not, that one. We're still making one. She's going to sit it down there. How would we do that? Maybe we'll sit up like that. 
Now, we're here fractionally early, but they'll still be right because they're sealed off. So, I don't know whether my blind eyes, but I can see if there's still a queen getting made in that last cell there. Now, if you're a real Puritan, you're supposed to go in here and actually get rid of the emergency queen cells, and which were made a bit earlier, and then you want to keep that one that they're making there a bit later because that's supposed to be a better queen. But for the purpose of the exercise, and if you're just doing this at home on a small scale, it's not the end of the world. Because you're not gonna keep pure genetics anyway by doing this. Anyway, we'll come around here. And we're just gonna cut down here with our flash new workforce knife. <laughs> now you wanna leave yourself a bit of room because the queen cell will go back further than you think. And that'll be right, and the bloody wire's gonna be there. So you don't want to wreck it too badly because otherwise the whole point of the exercise is a lost event. <laughs> cool, so we haven't fucked the back of it. So that, that'll run right down into here. Anyway, there she is. That's one, one of them anyway. I even bought a plastic container. I bought this to put my honeycomb in, but it ended up a bit crap, so I'm gonna put my little, you don't even need to get that excited if you're, if you've waited another few days, these will be even harder. But at the minute, anyway, for the constraints of photography, we're here. Just gonna see what's on the other side. Look at them dangling down there. You're like, holy shit, we're upside down. She's nearly finished this one here. Now, like I said earlier, technically that will be a better queen. According to, because these guys might be emergency queens and they might have had a little bit of drone food before, not drone food, a little bit of worker bee food, and then I've had to skip them back into being queens. But for the purpose of the exercise, just to show you what we're trying to achieve, this is, this is just taking a queen cell and we're going to take these queen cells and we'll show you how to put them into a pissed off hive that hopefully will make them chilled out like these girls. I'm not doing the actual inserting part without gloves I don't think because they're a bit psycho. But as you can see these girls are chilled out. Well they're busy making queens. Of course you've got to be a little bit careful with this project. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> Oh God, girls, I'm sorry. Hell, you to be owned by me, you poor bastards. Da -da -da -da. We might just pop that one back. And I might just take, we only need two for the purpose of this project, but we might have a look and see if we can find another one in here, just in case I have a mishap. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, just as a footnote, we were on channel 44 down here in South Australia, which is a community TV show. So if you wanna tune in, apparently you can watch it online as well. There's a little bit of one of my, um, oh, anyway, they were interviewing me. So that might be worth a laugh. I think I even managed the whole 20 minute interview without saying fuck, so that was pretty good. I think it was called Our Time, Our Time in South Australia. Anyway, Malcolm, was it Malcolm Haslick? And Malcolm somebody. And what was the bird's name? Janet. Sharon. Janet. Janet. Good on you Malcolm and Janet for having me on your show. Anyway, sneak over there and blow up the video with all your ratings and stir the shit out of them. We won't stir these chicks up too much. We're gonna um, just let these guys become their own little nuke. Well, at least, at least there's a bit of wood panelling there. So we'll, we'll suss that out too. See how warm, much warmer it is. Cool. That is totally unreal, the difference between the heat... E get off. The, <laughs> the heat even under... Like the heat with, with the wood panel. The heat coming through that lid in, compared to that lid. It's unbelievable. So, don't be a slack ass. Put some white paint on your lid. <laughs> now, of course, the fun part is, you go to all this trouble 
you pull up the dolly frame and then you rip your queen cell in half and it's like golly gosh so you want to take the outside one that's what I normally do I mean it's hell I don't know I suppose it depends on who you are but I like to do that because then you can push it away if you're in a big bee box you normally take the second one along because the one on the side's always stuck to the wall but these girls are only been in here for a week. That frames the one with the honey that we put in. That one's got all the brood on it. And I don't see a queen cell yet. That's not a good thing. Oh, they're still capping some stuff off there. How cool is that? Hopefully we got one in here, otherwise we have to put one of the other cells that are in here, in there. <laughs> oh, there she is dangling on the edge. God, and we got a double header. Oh, here. I don't think I want to take that one. I might take the two that are together. What's that there? No, that's just some drones going on. We'll just cut them out of there. And then um, that'll be good. I'll give us one spare. Two spares, but they'll be together, so. <laughs> Now, if you get a double header like that, try not to get too psycho and cut between them because you're just going to kill them both. Just let them be twins and whoever comes out first, the biggest, oldest sister will just do her worst to her little sister and then that'll all figure it out afterwards. We'll just go around here, give a bit of room. And the silly bloody wires involved again, as always. <laughs> I suppose if you were really bloody excitable, you'd have a frame without wire in it for doing this project, wouldn't you? Now, hopefully they're not bloody out the back. Anyway, that's not completely ideal, but I'm sure someone will tell me off. So you can see, you can see if you're wondering what a queen is, see how they hang down? They go down long, so they've actually burrowed back in and made a bigger hole and they hang down whereas the drones when you find a drone you see there's like a bit of more of a drone cell is just sort of coming straight out we'll pop these little ladies back in here I'll come back and sort the rest of this out at probably Monday and they'll be a bit riper before they hatch completely and then it will be fabulous oh yeah well that's the first part of the excitement Shaving a pear top. Doom doom. The ants have cleaned up the mess for this box at the end. While we're here, we'll just have a look. This box at the end. I came back here the other day and there was a mess of bees and they were having a bloody box on. So I'm not sure who actually won in the end because they got, they were getting robbed. So you can see a few dead bees here strewing. But it looks, they still look like the golden lady. So we might just pop our head in this one and just see what the hell happened. Not that it would really matter because the queens would still be the same because it's the egg, they didn't lay any new eggs. Holy shit, <laughs> maybe she did. Oh, there's a serious repacked out box. I don't actually see two, two psycho. <laughs> I wonder what happens if they did if they did get overrun. Oh hell, that's a heavy honey. That's full of some honey and stuff. Look at that beautiful nectar coming along. You ladies are getting a bit hectic in here. <laughs> Queen cells going on. Yep, there's quite a lot here. They've been really busy because they're bloody nice and full. I'm just making sure there isn't any larvae because that'd really be a waste of effort. But shit, I'll come back and get these for sure. Look at that. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. My goodness me, chicky babes. We might just take one out of here too. See, now that's the thing that if you've got a bigger population, you get more cells made. Which is obviously, I guess. <laughs> guess that's obvious. But <laughs> I wasn't really sure whether they got overrun. I can't see any I can't see any larvae being laid. So I reckon maybe these were just very adapted. Or they won. Cool. 
to me. That one's all right. Sure. Pop that in there. I think we've got plenty now. <laughs> of course, if you're a newbie, <laughs> a newbie. <laughs> well, what were you saying? They called a something, some bloody nickname they give us new beekeepers. <laughs> and you don't want to go to all the trouble of cutting that queen cell out. You've got two frames in the one little newt box. Just take the whole frame and pop it in another split. And then, obviously, if you um, take the whole frame and pop it in another box, you're only going to get that one, one, one of the queens to hatch out. But still, you'll have a split, and you won't have had to fool around cutting shit up. Or you could just leave that box do its own thing, like we've done, as long as it's a strain of bees that you like. And then there you go. Hey presto, a whole nother honey producer. Like, what the hell was that bush bee man? Put the lid on and then we'll go and do the next bit of excitement. Oh go! Charge! 